and Jason Adams, who are tag teaming Hurricane Elsa and the very latest on its track. Dan? Yeah, Wendy, not a lot of change in the last hour other than the obvious from Tropical Storm to Hurricane Elsa. We've been talking about this now for several hours. Recon flew in, found a slightly more intense storm when it was at 60, bumped it up to 70, and that was a very small part of the overall circulation. So the overwhelming majority of us will see nothing more than some tropical storm force winds higher along the coastline. And since we know there's a lot of people that live along the coast in Pinellas County, in Manatee, in Sarasota County, those counties really need to keep a close eye on the next few hours because that's when we believe this is going to continue to move right on north along the coast. This is clearly not what you would expect as a hurricane. I mean, it looks like a tropical, it doesn't even, I mean, this doesn't look like a tropical storm. It looks like an S or something. I mean, seriously, Jason and I were talking about this. Can't say that I've ever seen such a ragged system in the tropical Atlantic and still Elsa has found a way to increase its strength in the last six hours. Now, remember, even though we are looking at what is deemed a hurricane, the overwhelming majority of the wind within this area is tropical storm force, probably 40 to 50 miles an hour. In fact, Jason was just telling us a little while ago, we were looking at some of the storm reports coming in from Sarasota County, and they were pretty much 45, 46, 47 along the coast. There are some heavier storms and some stronger winds that look like they're gonna kinda make it down to the surface. And in doing so, I do think there's a pretty decent chance that our areas from Sarasota north to Bradenton and right on through coastal Pinellas County over the next two hours, that's when you are going to see most of your wind and some of the heaviest rain. Oh, the old guys over there got chairs over there now to sit down as opposed to the old guy here. He's got to stand up the whole time. Anyway, 75 mile an hour winds you see moving north at 14 miles an hour. So the track at this point simply doesn't matter anymore because again, we're talking about just kind of a blob that's going to give us this weather over the next six hours. So here's what we do. We stay put. We know the winds are going to gust. We know there will be some power outages. There will be isolated to scattered power outages. I don't think we're looking at widespread, kind of like what we have in a thunderstorm, except it'll be in a much larger area because this thing is going to go right up the west coast of Florida. All right. So that time frame is 